Hey guys, check it out. Because I'm in a low light room, there's a new feature within Zoom called adjust for low light. As you can see, I can either set it on auto to let Zoom decide the best adjustment, or I can change it to manual. And I can use the slider to change from dark to very, very bright. But as you can see, when it's super bright, it kind of washes me out. So somewhere in the middle, based on your own preference, it will be best. I'm really excited about this feature, guys, and I'm gonna show you and talk you through exactly how to set it up and choose a setting that is right for you. Coming up. By the way, I discovered this feature randomly just stumbling upon the video settings page. One thing you have to make sure for adjust for low light is that you do need to have this setting ready and make sure you upgrade to the latest version. Now, when this version comes about is Windows 5.2 or Mac OS 5.2. As I'm recording this Friday, October 16th, um, Zoom, it's already on version. Let's see. Here's the version I have, version 5.3.1. Just wanna verify that for you guys. So. My light is really low, and this is the situation for a lot of you guys. Recording from an office, whether your light is from overhead or you may have a floor lamp that's farther away from you, or maybe you're in the basement. The same thing, by the way, can happen during the daytime. Right now, as I'm recording this, it's during nighttime, and I don't have a lot of light in my room by design to show you guys how this video works. Now, during the daytime, it could also happen. As you can see, to my right, there's a set of windows, so I have a lot of sun or light exposure coming from this side of my face, but often I don't have a lot of light from this side. And that creates this unevenness and kind of a yin-yang phase, a little bit of a shadow. And sometimes in the afternoon, as it was raining all day today, I have very little light, natural light in my office. So this feature is gonna do you guys so much good. So let me show you exactly how to set it up. Number one, as you're running, and make sure you upgrade to the latest Zoom. What you wanna do is go to lower left-hand corner, stop video, click on the up arrow, select video settings. Alternatively, what you can do is simply go to the zoom.us setting, upper left-hand corner, and select preferences. And that can also take you to the preferences and just make sure that you navigate to video. Just like this, so now you see two of me on the screen. By default, you will not have a just for low light checked. So like this, do you see the difference? Let me click on this just a few times. On, off. That's a huge difference, guys. So this is all you have to do. Now, whether you have a HD Pro webcam like I do, or you simply have FaceTime HD built in, this will work. And I always typically check enable HD. Earlier in our other videos, we talked about a touch of my appearance, and that's what I'm not here for. I'm letting you focus on adjust for low light. So number one, you wanna make sure that this is checked. And then you have two options. One, if you wanna trust Zoom, just select auto. You see, auto is giving you what Zoom thinks is best for you. So it doesn't overexpose you and doesn't put you in a low light situation. You also have the choice. If you don't like the auto setting, you can select manual. So with manual, there's a dial from the darkest to the brightest, right? As you can see, when it comes to the brightest, I am more washed out. Some people might even like this look. I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. And let me know the adjustment that you are looking for. Again, it's not about the dial I'm showing you on the screen because it, it really depends on the light sources and how much of these enhancements you actually need. So to conclude for this video, what you want to do is still to ensure that there's sufficient uh, lighting in your room during the day and at night. So I have a separate video to talk to you guys about exactly the setup and how to make yourself look really good. Um, so just to keep that in mind, however, you're going to be in situations, especially as you're teaching, maybe one day you're not working from your home office, maybe you're working from the basement, maybe you're traveling. So this particular setting, adjust for low light, it's going to go a long way. So good luck, guys. Remember to keep on creating. I love this community so much. And thank you for having me here, for spending a few minutes with me. I hope you find this helpful. Please share with your family, your friends, your colleagues, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I cannot wait to see you in a future video.